A 38 year old man bitten in the face by a shark this morning has been released from the hospital. This happened just before eight o'clock this morning as the victim from South Carolina was surfing in New Smyrna Beach. Mm. West 2's Claire Metz is there live and so Claire, do we know he's okay? Well, Nancy, he was taken to Halifax Health Medical Center, which is our trauma center, taken there as a precaution. That he's already been released, we have to assume, is a good sign. We have not been able to reach him yet. Now, his shark encounter was at the inlet, which is where the majority of shark bites here in Volusia County occur. As we were walking out this morning, we saw four or five small spinners ourselves. Longtime surfer Ron Robinson got to the jetty shortly after the victim was bit, saw him being transported, and learned he'd been bitten on the right side of his cheek between his ear and his eye after riding a wave and coming off the board. Nine out of ten times it's because they'll fall in the shallow water and spook the shark, and it's a reaction bite. Chopper 2 flew the area earlier, recording several sharks in the water near the jetty. And, of course, plenty of surfers, too. The jetty boasts some of the best waves in the southeast and a buffet of bait fish that sharks feed on. The experts have long said a bite is usually a case of mistaken identity, and the locals agree. I think if you bump them or you just happen to wave your foot right in front of their face, they'll go for it thinking it's a fish. Typically, shark bites here are not life-threatening, and there haven't been any fatalities as far back as anyone can remember. Still, coming face-to-face -face with a shark, as apparently happened in this case, is unnerving. We've yet to interview a surfer, though, who doesn't say the reward is worth the risk. Well, that's like saying there's bad drivers on I-4. We, we know they're out there, right? They're, the sharks are out there. It's their backyard. You just try not to fall on them. You, I drive I-4, too, to get over here, so, you know, there's it's a greater risk there. Maybe, but cars don't have big, sharp teeth and the fishy reputation sharks have. Today's bite, the seventh shark bite in Volusia County so far this year. And we typically average between five and ten shark bites in a year, though I do recall one year, 2001, when we recorded 22 shark bites. Now, hopefully we won't see any more anytime soon, but we are going to see a lot of surfers in this water as Hurricane Lee brings in those big swells the surfers love. We're live in New Smyrna Beach, Volusia County. Claire Metz, West 2 News.